schedule here live on court number two. Men's doubles next from Russia, even off and Sutton off the 11th seeds. They're up against the seven seeds from Denmark. Astrup and Rasmussen, just a few moments. So the winner of this match, I think, will be the clear favourite in this section of the draw to reach the semi-finals. It's a big thing to say, but with the absence of the withdrawn Asan and Setiawan from the bottom of the draw as the number two seeds, it's wide open now. Three courts of action inside Carolina Marin Sports Palace. We've got live coverage of court one and court two throughout the week. And our last featured match here on court number two. The men's doubles. The imposing figures of Ivanov and Sosnov. But the Danes aren't to be messed with either. Astrup and Rasmussen. And an incredible 10th meeting between these two pairs. We're about to witness. So Kim Astrup to serve and Ivan Sozanov to receive. The Danes have taken the last five of the meetings between these two pairs, including the last time they met the Tokyo Olympics in the group stages. And there we are, easy to find. Vladimir Ivanov, 34 years old now, 197, six foot six in height, from Chelyabinsk in Russia, ranked number 15 in the world at the moment in men's doubles. They've been up at number seven back in December 2017, that was. And there's Ivan Sozanov, 32. Not a small figure either at 184. Sverdlov in Russia. The left handed Sozanov. Very capable pair. They've Done an awful lot in their long career, the Russians. And it was a solid result over a strong pair, Arjun and Kapila of India, in round two. After a bye in the first round of seeds. Kim Astrup, 29 now. From Herning in Denmark. They're currently ranked at 10, but they were up at 5 just over three years ago now, November 18. Now lives and trains in Copenhagen. The left handed Astrup and his partner. Ready to play. Anna's Rasmussen, 32, from Oda in Denmark. And just a touch taller in height, 189. So lefty righty versus lefty righty. And a great win over Koga and Sato. That was on centre court, court number one. An incredible match. Iris Metzpalu from Estonia. Lording it down from high up on the umpire's chair. And Andrea Ciappini from Italy. Key 
keeping those eyes peeled for any illegal serving. in the whitish grey coloured kit at the top of your screens. And the fierce attack. Opening proceedings for Astrid and Rasmussen. mover for somebody so big. Would not want to bump into even off in a dark alley. lost a feather or two but the Danes keeping the defence alive Three, one. good finish from Sosanov Ciappini from Italy called into action. It's gone wide. In the net, intimidating Sozanov. Two thousand sixteen was the last time. 
the pair from Russia were able to take a game off as Strzok and Rasmussen. Good cross lift from Kim Astra. Oh, the miss hit, but it stayed in court. And Astra, very keen to cover that middle. Left the down the line shot exposed. from the big Russian. Well, toying with Astra almost. Rasmussen. And well left, even off. Six, Shot from Sosanov sets up the attack. Seven all. Slam dunk from Ivanov. got about as much testosterone here as we do watching UFC. for a moment sent the wrong way.
Well, the longest rally by a mile. And Sosanov standing up in defence. And the mistimed. Backhand from Ivanov. Incredible stuff here. from Rasmussen. Bringing that down really steep. Almost off the toes of the big man. Serve from even off. Great reactions from even off. finish from the Russian pair. Attacking Kim Astrup throughout the first half of this opening game. Oh. Well, one point the break. Frighteningly fast and fierce stuff here on court two. to the action. Just one point, what a return of serve, even off. Kim Astrup. Not a lot of space in the mid to rear court with the wingspan of Vladimir Ivanov.
Thompson. Sign of intent from the Danes. The Russians for a moment happy to relift, trying to keep them at the back of the court, but with that winner they'll be doubting themselves later in this match. He needs that. Such an emotional player. Plays his best badminton when he's popped up and excited. And too many of the Russian points have been due to some of Astrup's shots. Brilliant again from Pim Astrup. Here we go. Danish crowd support around me. And it's a bit too much for umpire Metzpalu. Just a bit too loose. Russian racket poised. Rasmussen waiting like a ninja to receive serve. That's gone long. Sosanov recovers, he was grounded for a moment. Well, the lift was short, and a variation in attack from Anna Rasmussen. Up high, big reverse slice. Look at that, pumped up. They like this arena, the Danes. Champions here inside the Carolina Marin back in 2018, the Europeans, European Championships here in Huelva. Perhaps a lucky omen for Astrup and Rasmussen. Good from Astrup. Well, 
conditions great when it works in your favour, but they need to settle themselves here. And Iris Metzbalu having an interesting day here on court two. Earlier on she called a fault when the shot hit the frame of the player, but it came back over the net for a winner, and the opposition had stopped. And it was the most unusual moment, as she, nothing could be done. She had to give them the, the point, and the match went on. Deeply apologetic she was, but nonetheless, she's back out on court and trying to keep this lot under wraps. Not an easy task, a lot of emotion, a lot of adrenaline. And not exactly the four quietest players in the world. Evenly poised, 18 all. Good for him, Rasmussen again. Well, keeping even on that round the head corner, Astrid's lost, Rasmussen continues. What a rally this is. Let's lose from Astrid. Incredible win for the Russians. Such an important point. Not sure what happened to Kim Astrup in that rally. He was off the court on the blue carpet doing a 360 at one point. Fifty-one shots that rally. Nineteen all. Crash defence from Astro, he's got the attack back. Off the net, the lift short, but the Danes can't finish yet. Yes, Astro put the net. Game point, Rasmussen and Astra. But he's been so solid in return of serve, even off. Taking a few moments to get settled. Tense moments out here. The end of day five. Both things rushing the net. Surely, oh, what a defence from Sozanov. Oh, it's wonderful stuff. Well, he, 
He's pumped up now. Calm and cool under pressure. This forehand down the line from Ivanov. And look at him go. I think he could take on a grizzly bear in a fight right now. Vladimir Ivanov. Great net for Astrup. What about that defence? And he's missed. I think the strength broke. And he's in the net. And the Russians, for the first time in five years, have taken a game off Astrup and Rasmussen. And what a game it was. 22-20. Opening game. We're in for another thriller here on court two. Game two, men's doubles round of 16 for a place in the quarterfinals. Second game, long wall, play. And from the Russian Republic, Ivanov and Sozanov. In red at the top of your screens, they're off to a great start in game one. Plenty of fight in them. Evenly matched for the most part by the Danes Rasmussen and Astrup. psyching himself up. Yeah, it's fantastic from Rasmussen. Put the direction off Rasmussen's rear lift just a bit wide.
Backhand over the top, Rasmussen. A little bit slower that end. Not a great deal in it. A few inches of drift against the Danes, so not as many going out the back that side, hopefully. Oh, there's a challenge here. Iris Metzpalu waiting for this result. It's on the line. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. Three, four. Play. Good save. Survive. They are on the back Five, foot again. Forcing Sozanov into that error. on of the net but there's just no way through what about the defense from all four of these guys it's landed in As you can hear, believe it or not, is the heartbeat of Vladimir Ivanov. Yeah, well challenged. Well challenged, Sozanov. Great return from Rasmussen. to get involved, that backhand sets up the attack for Sozanov.
Good attacking, good variation from the Danes. again from even off it's got to be finished big angry cry and he cracks that to the floor brilliant stuff from the Russians 359 kilometers per hour Sure, what the pause is for. So, both of these pairs have been European champion. In fact, the Russians have been two times European champion. Most recently, of course, 21, but also back in 2014. the Russian pair won the All England and became the first Russians to ever win the All England and the Europeans. Ten, seven. Athletic leap from Kim Astrup. Sozanov, a lovely attacking backhand. Eight, ten. Great defence for a moment from Rasmussen. Nine, I think Astrup immediately regrets playing the net. Sozanov was waiting. copy of game one. And just like game one, 11 10 the lead. Astrup and Rasmussen, but absolutely nothing in this.
Even off the return of serves have been on point all match. 12, 10. But so has Rasmussen's anticipation at the net. Yes, from Kim Astrup, but good judgment from Rasmussen. Great drive into the body of Sosanov. And a lead of four. We haven't seen that at any stage of the match so far. Attack from Sosanov. Service over. 11, 15. Really good. Over. 16, 11. Turn of serve is perfect, and Rasmussen steps forward. Serve, perhaps not 12, quite accurate 16. enough against the left hander. Well, I think uh, even I saw that late. Sosanov, good anticipation. And a well worked rally for the Russians. Sosanov's string is gone. Often up to. 36 pounds per square inch of pressure in the strings of these rackets for the top players. 13, and with one broken, it puts an awful lot of strain and stress on the frame of the racket. That's why they cut the strings straight out immediately. Can't leave a racket strong at that tension. With that amount of lopsided pressure. Oh, off the take. Backhand clear over the top and out the back. 13, 13. And a six point cushion now. finish to the second game. Ashrup and Rasmussen. Uh, 
and yeah, less fight from the Russians. Happy to just get on with the third. Too far behind. Second game won by so second Astrup. game, As Astrup and Rasmussen with a game score of 21-14. One game or last match up for us here on the live coverage today, and we're treated to a final deciding game. Decided game. Round of 16 for a place in the quarters. Good serve. hard at the rear course. The drive from Rasmussen just a bit up. Needed to be a touch flatter. Smash going across the body of Vladimir Ivanov. Needed his partner's help there, Kim Astro. And Rasmussen was none the wiser. Frustrated even off feels he should have done better there. hip of even off. Great pressure. But the defense from the Russians, so solid. Oh, and 
Sazanoff's missed. Well, he'll be annoyed with himself. it was going out and I think he then gave the finger to point that it was out so that the line judge would question his own decision challenge but yeah on the line from the umpire. Deliberately served before they were ready then. Give it from Rasmussen again, haunting that net. Six, four. Pretty much every time he's done that, the Danes have come out on top. Great defense from both the Danes. Seven, four. Mr. Akena serve until the last two, and it's a great spell for Astrup and Rasmussen, who lead in the third by seven points of the mid game interval. Change events here. So 10 more minutes to play some of the best badminton you've played and get through to a quarter-finals of the World Championships. What a rally. 
defence from the Danes has been so good in the last five minutes or so. Oh, it's lovely from Ivanov. And he knows it. Big reverse slice. Look at that. Change of variation, change of angle. Well, that wasn't the shot from Astra. Not after the previous rally when Ivanov's hitting winners. I had to get the attack back. Good net from Sozanov. Oh, and he's indecisive. Destroying these shuttles. Twelve six. The Danes in charge at the moment. Well, that's lovely. Crouched forehand drive. Really well placed, Rasmussen. Good serve. Oh, delighted with that. And it's all going Denmark's way at the moment. off 286 kilometers per hour from the net into the body of Kimastrup on the service line. Oh, what a smash from Sozanov. Inch perfect in between the two Dan Danes. Where Rasmussen would have been when he was stretched so far on the shot beforehand. Fast and furious. Forehand from Astra into Ivanov's chest. And the Danes, if they can hold this together. Find a way into the quarterfinals here. It's gone long. Great judgment. Well, it's running away now, and the Russians know it. Ready. 
A moment of fight left in, even off. But a 10 point deficit where Astrup and Rasmussen need just two for the match. Surely there's too much to ask. 20, match point nine. 61 minutes and match point. Service fault fault. <laughs> and a service fault. That'll be sober. Ten match points. Eleven. Twenty. Match point number three. Oh, that return of serve. And, and Kim Astrup and Rasmussen celebrate in their typical style. Wonderful match. What a contest. Full of aggression, full of testosterone, and a real fight out here on court two. Wonderful to watch, and a wonderful way to close out our live coverage. Not the final point we would have liked out of all those to have chosen. But Astrup and Rasmussen through to a quarter-finals and it took three games they dropped the first 20-22 came back 21-14 21-11 they'll face the Germans of Lamsfus and Seidel tomorrow in the quarter-finals the number 12 seeds So come back and make sure you're here for that one. What a day of action. First up, Phoebe Sindhu. She took no chances in the opening match. Sailed through in straight games. The tie six seeds were settled in the women's doubles. 38 minutes it took to book their place in the quarters. Matsuyama and Shida were pushed but had enough experience to see off Teratana Chai and Super cool. And the Malaysian hopefuls of Ong and Teo put up a huge fight to beat Ranky Reddy and Shetty in the men's doubles. The third women's doubles of the day showed why Lee So Hee and Chin Tung Chan might be one of the favourites for the title here this week. And Hair Bing Zhao had too much class for Mia Bilicfeld in the women's singles. We'll see her again in the next round tomorrow. Men's doubles, what a match that was. Lee and Wang threw in three. We saw Tang and Sei in three as well over Christiansen and Boya. Incredible stuff here on court two. Kim and Kong, well they were solid. They were organized. Too good today for Pyrogard and Tucson. And Annas Antonsen in straight games. The most comfortable match we've seen today. And Se Young, she was rocked, it was an awful first, but she came back well at the end of the third, and that men's doubles to finish. What a fine, what a fine way to finish Astrup and Rasmussen through to a quarter-final tomorrow as well. Thank you for watching, I'm Bobby Griffin. We'll be back again tomorrow. Two courts for you, 10 o'clock to start. Put that in your diaries, 10 a.m. start to change up for the quarters tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you all there.